Hello, international crafters. I didn't think I was going to be here before, um, before Christmas, but I am. Let me see if I'm, okay, am I far enough? Yeah. So, this week for um, my international crafters group, I was supposed to be doing the challenges. And I want to thank so much Eileen and Nikki for filling in um, for me. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing it for Christmas Day. I might, but I'm not sure. It might be a short one, but we will see each other the 26th for sure. And um, yeah, because I, I finished the fair today. I finished it a day early. We packed up and left because, yes, to don't, tomorrow's Christmas Eve. And I really don't want to be there for Christmas Eve, you guys. Um, I have so much to do at home. I want to still bake and I have to cook for tomorrow night. Because um, I have company and I have company Christmas Day as well too. So I'm going to try to organize myself as much as possible in a way that I can, um, you know, get a video out there. Like I said, if not for Christmas Day, for the 26th, Boxing Day. And um, so what I'm going to be doing today, winging it again, you guys. And because, um, you know, with the confusion and everything, I'm not thinking about what I'm going to be doing for my challenges. And I'm so sorry. But I want to do a three inchy, a two inchy, and a one inchy all together. So this is going to be it. Now, what I've done up until now, I'm trying to get this a bit closer. Okay. What I've done up until now is I put some, um, uh, what's this called, gauze that I previously sprayed um, quite a while ago. And I just put a piece of that on my three inchy. By the way, this is all watercolor paper because I will be spraying it. I just got two pieces of paper here that I want to paste on. On my two inchy one instead, I just pasted a piece of lace on it and that's it. My one inchy is not going to be a piece of paper, but it's going to be a little tile, okay? So, like I said, I'm winging it here, you guys, so let's see how this is going to end up. So I'll get, um, for now, some gel medium too. Oh, my water's so dirty. If you guys see my room, it's a mess. The 26, I'm hoping to get into this room and organize everything that came from the fair. I'm not going to have time to do it tomorrow or Christmas Day, so it's just all in bags all over the place. And um, I have to get those things back on my shelf that I use at the fair. And yeah, by the way, for the fair, I'm so happy that you guys enjoyed the video I did. Um, beautiful stuff, yes. There's the girl, Morena, that does macrame, and she has an Etsy shop, Morena Macrame, and you can find her beautiful stuff on her channel. She said after Christmas holidays, she'll be putting much more on it, on her Etsy shop, I'm sorry. And then there was the lady that was doing the beautiful lace from Cantu. Like, like I explained in the video, Cantu is a place, which... I didn't know. I didn't know why they called it can too. And you know, this is so stupid of me too, to not inform on the things you have in the house because I do have sheets, blankets, and tablecloths um, that are done with this lace of can too. And like here in Italy, it's a must have that before you get married, you're supposed to have, you know, all these things, um, you know, all, all towels, tablecloths, you know, linen and everything. And like it was once upon a time that the girl, you know, by the time she was 12, she was supposed to have, um, you know, a whole bunch of patchwork blankets made and everything to for when she got married. So here, and they still have this tradition here in Sicily. I don't know about up north, but here they do. And, um, you know, it, so it's, it's something that, you know, the parents start when they're very little to start putting these things together because they do a lot. I was lucky enough because... In our family, my brother-in-law used to sell it. He doesn't sell it anymore because it's a very hard work to do nowadays because he used to go on the car and go up on the, all these little mountain roads and everything and sell from his car all this stuff. So, like, I naturally got here in Italy, um, and um, less than a year after that, I met my husband got pregnant and we got married so like my what what I did what what they did for me was they did it all at once because naturally somebody in the family was selling it so I got it all at once and like it was 24 pairs of sheets um I have about 15 blankets between comforters and summer blankets and all this stuff I even have two 
um, pure silk sets of blanket and sheets that are matching. Um, oh, and then they, they do, you know, all the, um, the intimate, like the, the first nightgown that you're supposed to wear for your first night of your marriage. And um, it's, it's you know, I, I've really grown to like these traditions. Um, it's, it's something that I have all boys, so I don't have a girl to do for, but I am doing for my boys what you would use for a single bed because that's what they do here. The mother for the boy prepares all what he needs for a single bed. He They prepare all his underwears and socks and all this mumbo jumbo. Um, we have to buy the furniture for them and we have to build a house. Now, naturally, who can do that? Can, who can't? You know, the the bride and the groom can go and stay in a, in a rented house, naturally. Not everybody can do it. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to spray this, but I'm going to move this stuff away because I don't want it to get sprayed. I have such a messy desk, you guys. I have to get this tile and just scrub it when I start cleaning this room the day after Christmas. And, um, yeah, it's really grimy. Like, I have to just get the scrubber and scrub it. There's things that... That won't come away with just a wet wet cloth. So I wanted to start spraying this. And I made this gray um, color with um, these. It's not the right color, but it's the PVOs. So I just mix a bit, a bit of this in the water. And this PVO paint was, let's see if I can find it here a second. This one here, it's number 360. And it's a beautiful um, gray, blue goodness there so I mix that with water and I want to spray this tonight I'm using the sprays to like kind of quicken up the the thing as well too so that way um, this video doesn't go on too long too for drying times as well because the spray seems to I'm gonna shake this up better the spray seems to you know dry much faster and everything as well too and I was looking at the comments, and it was going back to the fair. I was looking at the comments. Um, you guys, I did make the money to pay the booth and just a little bit extra as well, too. So, you know, it, it, it wasn't that bad, that bad. So I'm looking here at some comments, and I would like to answer you right here because I really don't have time to sit here and answer everybody's comment, in, especially all in my last videos as well, too, because I really, really, really haven't had time. And I feel terrible when I can't answer you guys back. So, um, like I said, Morena Macaray, you can macrame, you can find her on, she has an Etsy channel. And I'm trying to convince her. She does have one, one channel um, on uh, YouTube. She's showing how to make a ring. But um, if you're interested in buying, you know, she has, like I said, the Etsy channel. And then there was the lady, naturally, with... You know, the beautiful um, Cantu lace. And I showed in the video how she was doing it. And you guys, you wouldn't believe how tempted I am to try this art out. I'm just afraid that, you know, my eyes aren't going to be able to take it. So I have to think twice before I go ahead and buy that green thing that she was using in my video to, you know, it's a cushion built on a piece of round wood. And then it's got its stand and everything. And um, I have to really think twice about this because I'm not sure. Like, I know how to crochet, but I'm, I, I'm not good at doing constant things like crocheting or knitting. Or, like, even when I did patchwork, I will do patchwork. But in the past, when I used to do it as, you know, a job, as I was doing a lot of, you know, patchwork blankets for babies and things like that. When they would ask me to do another one that I had just done, it that would drive me absolutely crazy. I cannot do two things. And this is another thing that's pretty much constant, like crocheting and things like that. And so, you know, before spending the money, which you, what I would need about 100 euro to buy all those wooden bobbins and, you know, the cushion to do it on and everything... Um, I really want to think about it. I would love to, to, you know, learn how to do it, but I don't know if I'm going to be constant and, and why spend the money if it's, you know, going to be something that you're not going to be doing in the future. Do you know what I'm saying? 
but to buy it I can't afford it either you know uh, there's no way that I can afford that the, to buy the finished product is you know like I said I showed in the video there was um, something that you would put on the bottom of a tray and the six coasters and like that alone was 500 euro like there it's very and I understand why it's so expensive those are long 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 hours of work you know a very fine thread she uses a very good quality of thread it has to be as well too so yeah that would be definitely something that you know I would be kind of interested in, in learning but it probably be no and anyways I do want to convince her to do some kind of video on YouTube you know I told her we can do it in short segments you can start you know teaching um, how to do this you know in step by step if anybody's interested you know if anybody would like to learn this beautiful art I am going to try to convince her and I'll translate for her while she, while I'm doing the video for her which would be loads of fun as well too you know so yeah I'm thinking of doing that um, we're gonna be seeing each other after the holidays um, she's a dear friend of me not mine I've known her for years it was a big surprise for me to see her at the market as well too because I didn't know that she would be she would have been there and um, and she recently lost her husband her kids live they all live far away you know one lives in Genoa one lives in Rome one lives in Spain her girl lives in Spain so she's um, she's she's doing pretty well like she gets you know gets out there and, and tries to keep herself busy which um, I'm really proud of her about that so now I'm going to be you know trying to mix and match these colors now this one I paint I sprayed with that gray paint that I showed you that I did and a white delusion spray as well too this might be changed a bit we'll see how this one comes out depending how this one comes out um, I might go ahead and change this and instead of using like I said an inchy I'm going to be using a tile that's not exactly an inch but it's almost there okay like I said winging it <laughs> I'm winging it I hope everybody has a pleasant Christmas Oh, you know, that really ticks me off when you buy sprays like this that cost so much. Because to me, they are expensive. And then it doesn't work because this is actually a spray from Perfect Pearls. It's called a green patina. And like, it's not coming out, you know, and you prepare your colors, you're ready to do this and everything. And then it doesn't come out like that really ticks me off. I'm wondering if I use a paintbrush because I really do like this color and you can't even open the thing here because it's still sealed down here up huh? get the point of my scissors gotta buy scissors you guys have to buy scissors I was going to the last order I did but I kind of um, spent a lot of money on a paper cutter because I wanted a good painter paper cutter and up till now I'm pretty happy with it but I just have one problem with it if my video doesn't go too long I'll show it to you guys because I'm not sure you know somebody might have this paper say this same paper cutter and um, there's just one problem I do have with it I'm trying to take the plastic off of this one here come on boy. so that way I can take the top off and dip in the brush here I'll use it with the brush it shouldn't be working out this way but I'm gonna have to do it like that seeing that it does not want to spray come on no okay let me shake it up again really good get a brush and just do it this way which I don't think it's going to show up very well I'm going to have to find another alternative of a color but I really did like this green I'll spread it out a bit um, really funny you guys so I, I prepared the same two inchy with the same piece of lace and I put it on with you know um, with glue so I'm getting the sprays ready and this piece the original piece disappears on me I cannot find it anywhere I don't know where it fell I'm looking for it all over the place told you things just disappear on me I don't know why 
might be because of the big mess I have in my room. Might have something to do with that, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to put these two together again and start spraying them. Um, let me see here. When I finish drawing this, I'm going to see what it looks like. And then I'll go on. This. So I'm going to be looking at these other comments. Yeah, they really found the lady that was doing the lace amazing. Carol, I did this especially for you, girl. I know you love laces. So I was really happy when, like, as soon as I saw this lady at the market, I said, oh, my goodness, I have to show Carol her stuff. And I ended up buying two pairs of her earrings for my daughter-in-laws. Um, I got the ones that cost less because... I couldn't afford more than that, but the ones I bought were 30 euro each, and they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. If I remember um, to, to do some, well, you guys can see them in the video. The earrings are all there, because I'll be giving it to them tomorrow, or probably the day after tomorrow. And I don't know, like I said, if I'm going to be doing a video to show them to you guys, the ones that I bought for them. But very pretty. I hope they like them. They're, you know, young girls, and I'm sure they enjoy this stuff. So I'm going to get this pink that I made myself. Hopefully it'll spray for me. Because I do want it to add. Just, oh, good. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Let me see how this one is if it's dry I'm in my pajamas already guys. as soon as I got home I tore off my clothes and got into my pajamas it's terrible being because today we did a whole day at the market um, I just went home to my mom's really fast had a bite to eat and then we got back there again which was useless because there was nobody around you guys it's really 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 sad here huh really sad there's no jobs and these big um whatchamacallits these big shopping malls actually ruined our town, you know, because people go there to shop. I know they're looking for better bargains. There is very little money. There are no jobs. And um, it really saddens me to see the stores empty. Um, in our hometown, my uh, market wasn't the only one. There's a big, huge one in the center of town, which takes a lot of business away from us as well, too. Um, it's much more bigger. It's, like I said, right in the center of the town. People can see it better. So this is what my idea would be of, you know, what I want to do. But before I do that, I want to stamp something on here before I put them together. And just to, you know, give it a bit of texture with the stamps here and there. So, and I have this really pretty butterfly that I bought the other day. This is um, an Italian Mark Stamparia. A pretty fly look um butterfly that i would like to put here man we're already 18 minutes okay i'm just stamping half of it because and then there's the um, like i said the gauze underneath so that's kind of something that's not really going to show up that well who's there what do you want right there and I think that's what I'm going to do about that swipe it off here yeah I like that batter already and I think I'm going to go around it with black even though I wasn't intending on using black but the only permanent ink I have is archival so I had to use the black um, on this um, even though I really didn't want to just going to wipe this off just to make sure that and put it back in the bag because I lose these small little stamps if I don't be careful um, putting them away right away and the stamps are a pretty good quality but the packaging I notice on these stamp packages with this company they're terrible I'm going to have to change this little package before it gets you know all ripped up and lost wipe this one up 
actually what I did want to do is just a little touch of a stamp here as well too right at the edge and I'm sorry you guys I'm like really 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 winging this I'm not um, I planned of course you know I wanted to do this three inchy and um, but how it turns out at the end I'm not sure but I do really like this gray color here and um, and this pink together now what I'm not sure of is if I want to I would have picked out another tile that's what I'm really upset about that this isn't working this green patina because um, there was green in the tile to begin with so I want to try to match that up and I'm thinking here if I was to Let me see if I can put on another bottle here. I don't want to ruin the colors, but I do want it to be sprayed. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm just making a big mess out of everything, but hopefully this will turn out. So I'm going to spray just a bit off of the page first. Move that a bit. Okay, here we go. So, I'm just going to spray a bit here. And I want to spray another little bit of green here. So, like this would be all together three inchy. <laughs> okay, i got to get rid of this color in here. Because I just changed splurters here, these little... I want to make sure that everything's out to put it back in there yeah I know I probably mix up the colors a bit but okay I'll put that aside so another thing that oh not that one sorry I have to get this one put them together here so uh, what I was using, um, you guys, are the scraps that I had left over from Saturday's Art Journal. If you remember, I did a Christmas tree with that. And um, yeah, these are some of these. I started off with this, just putting scraps on this piece. But I wasn't really happy with it, so I just chucked it aside. And um, using that. Want to see what this looks like now what doesn't convince me here is um, I'm gonna put some black around it first of all or should I use yeah you know what I should use this even though the writings in black I really don't think it makes a difference so I'm going to use some which is called vintage photo yeah, okay, that's, I'm liking that better already. Darken up the edges a bit. And I am going to emboss, not this one, but the second one. I want it nice and shiny like an, or should I emboss the first one and leave the second one alone? Yeah, I should probably emboss the second one. The first, the first one, this one here, the bigger one. I just want to give it a nice shininess to it. Um, and if I put glaze on it, you guys aren't going to see it nice and shiny because it takes a long time to dry. So what I'm going to do now is change my gun over because my little one will not um, melt the thick embossing powder. So I have to get my big gun out here. Okay, get that ready. I have my VersaFine ready here, move these out of the way, and get this, it's really dirty. Can you guys wash these under the tap, you know, and then I would put again more of the, I have the refill for this, do you think I could do that you guys? Just like wash, wash this under the tap, has anybody ever tried it? Okay. 
want to make sure that it gets it all. My thick embossing powder here. And bring it over. with my big guns. Redo that again. You know, they call it thick embossing powder, you guys, but I always have to do a second coat on anything I do to make it look, you know, there we go this on the ground okay now I would put didn't come out all that great huh there's still some spots here that I would like to redo yeah I have to uh, on, the, on the edges it didn't seem like it grabbed on the edges right there too Once more, okay. that the side. So it's kind of coming out like you know a kind of shabby, chic, vintagey, um, three inchy, three to one inchy. I'll we'll call it my three to one inchy. There, I found a name for it. And I like, I love this because it goes, it makes it melt really fast. I don't lose time on it. Naturally, you have to be careful with these big ones because you can burn everything. Okay. I'm going to let that cool off a bit. And I'm just going to glue them with the glue gun. So this would be, I'm going to try to cut this off a little piece here that's hanging out. Yeah, it's like here, right there. It's kind of like really not kind of like, I think it's the... Um, which I'm gonna call it, but you know what? At the end, it's acting, uh, it's adding a little bit of texture. It's the gauze that's underneath that's not picking up the thing. So this is the way it's going to be mounted. I'm just doing it with the glue gun. I'm gonna try to center it here. And my little tile. Now, of course, if you don't have a little tile, you guys can make one out of this. Is made out of um, um, Fimo. You can make one out of cardboard. You can make one out of Scrabble piece. Um, you don't have to make it shabby chic, but you can make it any way you like. And there we go. I hope everybody likes this. I wish everybody again a very merry, merry, merry Christmas. And um, hugs to you all. Kisses to you all. And hope to see you soon. Goodbye.